Hi guys, it's Kira and I'm here with We Apply. I'm here today to talk to you and follow up with you on, this is day two of our 47 days of college awareness. And this is a 47 day stretch where we're going to be um, highlighting the two and four year institutions in the state of Arkansas. So we're just doing some basic profiling, things that we feel like students should be doing while they're researching for the colleges that they want to go to. So we're gonna go over some admissions criteria, looking at some financial information, and then looking at some academic um, information related to the college. So the college that we're focusing on today is actually called Arkansas Northeastern College. Uh, this college is in Blytheville, Arkansas, and this is actually my first time hearing about this college. So this is the cool part about this project is that, you know, not only am I learning about new colleges, but I get to expose you all to the, to the colleges as well. So Arkansas Northeastern College is very much a community college um, that focuses on they have an allied nursing program they have a allied technology program and then they have an arts and science program so they kind of touch on different um parts of the spectrum so to say in regards to the things that they offer those students um so i'm going to share my screen and we'll dive right in and find out some more about this college Okay, so just starting out, this is their website, okay? So as always, you see the address up in the top. But of course, I just got here by Google. So this is the president, he welcomes, and just here's some facts about Arkansas Northeastern College. Um, apparently they have the lowest tuition in the state of Arkansas. I'm sure that's a draw um, for them. So as you go on their website, you can read different things. They have information about their accreditation, which is also important, and some history. Um, and so we can kind of see that they have a main campus that's in Blytheville. I don't know if you've heard of Blytheville, but it's close to, it's near Jonesboro. Um, they have another campus in Leachville and Osceola, which those are a couple smaller cities in Little Rock, I mean in Arkansas. So just going over some admissions criteria, if I was a student that was interested in going to Arkansas Northeastern College, just like any other school, I would need to know what it takes to get in. What kind of things would I have to submit? and their requirements are not that different from other colleges so let's just take a look so you would have to turn in your application for admission you would need a high school transcript it needs to have your gpa your graduation date or you have to show proof that you got your ged so as far as test scores they accept the act the asset or the compass scores for placement so i didn't see anything about the act but i think that uh, the sat but the act is very common in the state of arkansas so shot records um if you've attended another college you got to do your college transcript and then a release of information if they would need to talk to anybody so in order to get financial aid which is going to be the next thing we're going to talk about um, they will need you to submit your FAFSA and you need to make sure that you have turned in all the applicable documents. Um, so when it comes to Arkansas Northeastern College, it doesn't look like it's a challenge to get in. Um, so if this is the college for you, now you know that you have to have some kind of placement test, ACT, 
um, or equivalent. You have to have your transcript, either showing high school diploma or showing that you're in progress too. You have to turn in your FAFSA. Um, you have to have your immunizations. So nothing hard. We can do this. That's where I want to go. So next, the financial piece is big. And I'm going to always say that it's never focused on enough. Um, we want to go places, but none of none. A lot of the students that I deal with haven't stopped to think about how much tuition costs. So this is what puts us into debt or ensures that we graduate debt free. Okay. So looking at their per hour, they for in county. So if you're a resident of that county, you get charged sixty seven dollars per credit hour. If you're not a resident, you get charged $77 per credit hour, um, which is actually inexpensive. Um, if you're an out-of-state resident, you're always going to pay way more money, $127. So, and they have a little asterisk down here, which tells you some more information. So... Let's see if there's any other, there's the billing policy. Okay. Okay. Of course, every school has fees. So there, here's a list of their fees. Okay. All right. Good to go. So scholarships. And I'm going to zoom in on this, y'all. Okay. So, for, okay, here's their website, their scholarship website. Um, I'm actually wanting to look at some sample scholarships. So, I'm clicking on their catalog. You have to open their catalog to show the scholarships. So, Let's do a quick control F to search for scholarships. Okay, so that looks like it's on page 41. Okay. All right, okay. So I think this is where we're trying to be. So we're just trying to get an overview um of the kind of scholarships that they offer so of course they're telling you everything else they are a school that offers the f s e o g grant so pell grant students generally qualify for the f s e o g grant but that money goes pretty quick so that's the importance of getting your fafsa done pretty quick so you can get that um okay so let's look so they have okay so they have the anc foundation basically the arkansas northeastern college foundation which hands out some scholarships so they're telling you how to get these how to apply for these um looking for one okay so looking at the brandon j elliott memorial scholarship it tells you why this scholarship was made um how many people get it two students and there's a 500 hundred dollar um scholarship okay so and then it tells you who they're looking to give it to Single parents, students with disabilities, um, students that are interested in sociology, psychology, nursing, and auto mechanics. Um, okay. So another one that looks like Colonel J.M. Crane Memorial Scholarship. So again, kind of just giving some background on who it is and who it's named after. 
um, telling how much the scholarship pays. So it's a thousand dollars a semester towards tuition, books, and fees. Um, and it's open to Arkansas Northeastern college students who maintain a 2.5 cumulative GPA. So again, that's definitely not hard for you guys to pursue, but um, there are many more scholarships, I'm sure. Community colleges always have a lot of scholarships and a lot of people typically don't apply for them. So um, if you're interested in Arkansas Northeastern College, please apply for these. Okay, and just a quick overview of their um, areas, their curriculum areas. So they have nursing and allied health. We look over here, we can see the kinds of things that they touch on in school. They also have allied technologies. Allied technologies is more so, okay. They also touch, they also have allied technologies. And allied technologies is focusing on the industrial and manufacturing workforce. So teaching students how to succeed in that area. And then arts and sciences. And so a lot of people are familiar with the arts and sciences, communication, humanities, education, fine arts, math and science. So um, if you're interested in Arkansas Northeastern College, I would encourage you to go on their website some more, do some exploration, learn more about this college. Um, and if you're a senior, apply now, apply for financial aid, apply for those scholarships. If you're not, go take a tour. Um, it's important for us not to only do our own research, but go and experience that college, make sure it feels right. So again, this has just been day two. Um, tomorrow is day three. So I'm hoping that you guys are enjoying what we have going on so far and that you will be back to learn about another college tomorrow. Thanks for joining. Don't forget to share this video and follow us. Subscribe, follow us, like our page, um, whatever mode of social media you're on. But Follow us. We got some great information for you guys. Everyone, have a good day. Bye.